we now move to the unveiling of the Red Wheel. Um, we are extremely pleased that Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> Shall I start again? Yeah. Just to say that um, we are extremely pleased to have been awarded, as I say, our sister cutting has been awarded the Red Wheel uh, in recognition of its um, significance on the, the world's first long distance intercity railway between London and Birmingham. Um, it, uh, it, so, yes, it commemorates 180 years of, of rail through road. We've still got the West Coast main line going through, so 120 miles an hour or whatever it is. Um, and it commemorates also the Victorians who actually built it. And the, as you will see in the exhibition, there were a lot of people who suffered as a result of building it, who died as a result of building it, and had a huge impact on our village. And I'd like to invite uh, the chairman of the Transport Trust, Mr. Stuart Wilkinson, and Chris Hilliard, um, who was our retired Royal Train Manager, so died in the old Choo Choo Man, um, to unveil our red flag, please. Um, I'll just say a little um, word or two about Transport Trust um, and the background to the Red Wheel Scheme. The Transport Trust has been in business for about 55 years, and we're the only organisation in the UK which is dedicated to the preservation and promotion of the understanding of all our railway, all our transport heritage, whether that's on rail, on road, in the air, or on water. Now, one of the ways in which we do that um, <coughs> is by erecting these red wheels. The idea was inspired by the blue plaque scheme, um, and it started about 10 years ago, the one you have is number 102, and whereas the blue plaques say Christopher Wren slept here, ours say why this site that you're standing on is so significant. And I stood on a road bridge there with Alistair about three years ago, I think it was, and we decided that was a good site for Red Wheel, and I'm delighted to see that the model already shows the Red Wheel on the bridge. Now that's very thorough indeed. Um, that's, that's enough about me. Uh, I would just like to say, if some of you are wondering why you are not members of the Transport Trust, do not despair. There are many application forms over on the table on the left, along with um, examples of our magazine. Please take them away. They're free of charge. I don't want to take them home again. So please help yourselves. I've also noticed that one or two preserved railway activities represented here. One of the other things we do to encourage the preservation of our railway heritage is lend money to organisations such as yours at advantageous rents, uh, rates to help you with specific projects. So if that would be of interest, please see me later, pick up one of the forms and get in touch. That's probably enough for me. Um, I don't know whether you want to say anything at this point, Chris, about the significance of the cutting. Right, okay, thank you. Over to you, Chris. This project has, has born out of a blue sky, blue sky thinking idea, really. Um, Johnny and I sat having dinner in, uh, in the Bowlesman and um, sort of said, we ought to make a model, mate. So he said, yeah, pop, pop round the garage, we'll start it. Well, dear. Um, it was a labour of love. Uh, we say it took 4,000 hours and 6,000 cigarettes. But uh, this is what we've achieved. But it's not just us, as, as Alistair inferred. It's the students at Elizabeth Woodville School and the staff have been fantastic. Even the caretaking staff have thoroughly got involved in the project, helping us out. Um, Members of the History Society with the 3D printing, with the, the artwork, uh, and our local businesses in the community have sponsored us by giving us cash to actually pay for the blessed thing. And uh, enjoy the exhibition. We've got some, the history of road and its association with railways is dotted around. There's an awful lot to read, but uh, I'm sure you'll find it uh, enjoyable. Thank you to our other exhibitors who have supported us again today. Uh, WI especially because uh, we'll all need vittles and there's a hot dog type van 
around somewhere outside or I spend it back here. So I'll, uh, I'll get off air now and uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, assist still in unveiling our red wing.